What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Phones and Drones. We got our hands on the new Nokia 9 Pure View. This is meant to be Nokia's new flagship, actually for the US even, including overseas and all other markets as well. And they've been pushing out devices recently uh, under this monkeyer. However, having said this, this is one of their first flagship level devices that they have released. This is actually um, by any standard in 2019 uh, a flagship device it does have the snapdragon 845 processor however the reason that they explain that they stuck with this instead of the 855 is because of all the fine tuning that light and uh, nokia had to do in order to get the processing power for these five cameras uh, to work without having a super 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 long um, basically processing time for the images having said that you guys can see what's so special about this and why it's been making headlines it does have that five camera array uh, they did partner with zeiss again they do have a 20 megapixel front camera as well video did not take a back seat to this device it does have um, I believe OIS, there's no EIS uh, for the recording videos. You can record video up to a 4K resolution at 30 frames per second. You can see it does have a six inch P OLED display. I know I read a lot of people thought this was an AMOLED. It is a P OLED instead. It is a 2K display. It does have a fingerprint sensor under the display as well as fast wired and wireless charging. 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs storage on this. One of the other awesome, awesome things about this device that Nokia has been really good about recently is the Android One. Um, they've stuck to pure Android. Uh, for those of you not familiar with Android One, it is from Google, pure Android. So you're getting a Pixel-esque experience with this device. Um, it, it, it's phenomenal. This is my first foray with it. However, I've heard nothing but praise. It doesn't bog down the OS um, since there's no other bloatware or anything like that. Let's go ahead and get this baby open and check it out. Pretty simple packaging. Got the device over here. I didn't mention, but it does only come in one configuration and one color that is this midnight blue that we have here aside from that probably have your standard affair with booklets your sim card ejector not too much in this big big box aside from that i'm gonna assume we have our charging cable in here we do it is going to be USB-C. Oh, you do get some headphones in the box. That's kind of nice. It almost has a bullet-esque vibe to these headphones. Let's go ahead and rip this open. Come with a couple extra tips. Sharp-looking headphones, not too bad. They look like they're really meant to go in the ear canal for better sound. Then we do have a headphone jack adapter, USB-C to three and a half inch, and your wall plug. Nice little rounded design. Let's set all this aside. Go ahead and open up what you guys are really here to see. Let's slide this baby right out. And right off the bat, you can see that nice blue coloring in the back. This is a lot darker than I originally thought it was. But this is definitely, definitely, definitely a sharp looking device. You can see the camera array right there. It is amazing how they made it flush, considering all the technology packed in here from light. Power button, volume rocker, nothing else on this side. You got no headphone jack, as we said. You do have your... My, or excuse me, your USB-C port, nothing on top except for your SIM card tray, IP67 water resistance. Um, but yeah, guys, that is it. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on, get it powered up and give it a run through. Uh, I will definitely be doing a lot of comparisons for videos and obviously photos with this, as well as my Pixel 3 XL and the S10 Plus that we'll have in house tomorrow. Stay tuned. This is going to be a busy week for the channel. 
Thanks for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below. Do you think Nokia is back with this phone? Till next time, guys.